Hey you guys, this is the first video on making fall leaves. It's all about creating painted paper. You'll need either white or colored paper if you have it, as well as markers, crayons, watercolors, any kind of materials you have that you can use to really fill your page full of color and pattern. I'm gonna show you three different ways you can use your materials to create your painted paper, but you can do whatever you'd like. This is process art, which means it's more about what you do than following any specific kind of pattern. So you do not have to use the same colors as me. You do not have to use the same lines. What you do have to do is really fill your paper. Fill it up. When you think you've got enough, add more. This first one I'm doing is with crayons and markers. I'm not following any pattern. My lines are going all over, but I'm definitely overlapping. I want to add a lot of design and detail. We're going to use these papers later on and cut out shapes for leaves. But leaves are not one solid color, which is why we're adding all of these marks to our paper first. If you have oil pastels or crayons and watercolor, you can try the watercolor resist technique where you use oil pastels or crayons first to make designs and then go over it with watercolor. Fill your paper. I shouldn't see any white. If you use watercolor, be sure to allow your paper lots of time to dry before you use it to create your leaves. You can also just use markers. I'm going to go over and beyond overlaying my marker colors. So I'm going all different ways and I'm using all different patterns. This one is on white piece of paper too. And so you're gonna have to work a little bit harder to fill it in since you don't have the watercolor to just go over it easily. That's why I'm assigning this as its own separate video so that you really take your time to color in your paper and leave no white spaces. It shouldn't look like a white piece of paper by the time you're finished with it. Here you have three pieces of paper filled to the absolute brim with different patterns, color, texture, design. I really went for it and I want you to do the same thing. I wouldn't even know this piece was white unless I flipped it over. So take your time and create three beautiful pieces of patterned paper.